Hey everybody, Bob here from Infocon, and today we're going to show you how to use your new AST200IR refrigerant leak detector. Inside the carrying case, you'll find a quick start guide, spare filters, an AC wall charger, micro USB cable, UV inspection light, and an R1234YF check gauge. The infrared sensor and lithium ion battery are already installed but they're both easy to change in case you want to use a spare battery or the optional CO2 sensor. To replace either the sensor or the battery, remove the battery door by pressing the eject button on the back of the unit. Inside, you'll see the sensor and the battery. Remove the sensor by pulling on the sensor release tab. To install the sensor, Line it up with the rails and gently push it in place until it clicks. If it doesn't slide smoothly, check the alignment. Don't force it. AST200IR will automatically sense the sensor type and the mode indicator will change color. Orange indicates that you're using the standard sensor and green indicates the CO2 sensor is installed. To remove the battery, move the release tab to the side and slide the battery out. Align the new battery with the rails and gently push in the battery until the release tab engages. You should charge your AST200IR before using it. Plug the USB cable into a power source like the included wall charger and plug the micro USB end into the power input on the side of the unit. The power indicator flashes slowly while charging and changes color to show the battery charge percentage. A full charge can be achieved in about 3 hours and will last for about 10 hours of operation. If you're running low on battery and not done with the job, no problem. AST200IR can be used while charging. Long press the power button to turn AST200IR on or off. AST200IR takes about 45 to 90 seconds to warm up. When the warm up is complete, AST200IR will beep steadily and is ready for use. AST200IR has two different modes to help you find leaks, pinpoint mode and manual zero mode. Press the mode button to switch between the two modes. AST200IR always starts up in the last mode that was used. In pinpoint mode, AST200IR will automatically zero to the refrigerant background after alarming for a short time, allowing you to easily locate higher levels of refrigerant. Place the tip of AST200IR as close as possible to the suspected leak. Be careful not to block the airflow, as this can cause false alarms. Slowly move the probe past each possible leak point. If a leak is detected, AST200IR alarms and the leak indicators illuminate. When the alarm stops, AST200IR has zeroed to the background. Now, you can continue looking for a higher concentration of refrigerant to pinpoint the leak location. To reset the zero point, move the probe to clean air for a few seconds, and then check again to verify the leak. AST200IR has four sensitivity levels. Low, medium, and high can be used to find leaks according to SAE J2791 and J2913 guidelines. Super sensitivity can be used to find even the smallest leaks. Press the Sense Zero button to toggle between sensitivity settings. The Sense indicators show the current sensitivity setting. In Manual Zero mode, AST200IR will only zero to the background refrigerant by pressing the Sense Zero button. The Sense indicators flash briefly to indicate a new zero point has been set. Zeroing sets a new baseline, so AST200IR will not alarm on a smaller leak size. This can be useful when you have more than one leak and you'd like to identify which leak is larger. The optional extra long probe can be used for those hard to reach places. To install the extra long probe, unscrew the original probe using a 10 millimeter wrench. Screw the extra long probe on and torque to about 35 inch pounds or four Newton meters. Torque doesn't have to be exact. Just make sure you don't over tighten it. A filter is pre-installed in the AST200IR probe tip. If the filter looks dirty, gets wet, or clogged, replace it with one of the included replacement filters. A wet filter can be reused once it dries. 
never use AST200IR without a filter because it can damage the sensor. AST200IR includes a small UV inspection light that can help verify leaks when fluorescent dye is already in the AC system. Also included is an R1234YF check gauge for verifying the refrigerant level in an R1234YF system. Just plug the gauge into the low side service port with the engine running to get the pressure reading. Check out the new AST line of leak detectors made specifically for the automotive aftermarket and see for yourself why Inficon is trusted by thousands of technicians around the world.